from the bottom of my head, I'm, I'm super grateful because, um, yeah, I, it, I mean, as I shared, like, I, I was in a place where I wasn't happy and I was feeling legitimately stuck, but I knew I needed to do it. I knew I needed to do it. But I, have, I have the means, I have the time, like, I need to do it. So, and um, yeah, it was, it was time and investment well spent, so I appreciate that. Mr. Paul Worrell, we have Yo. just concluded a three month coaching container, which is super exciting. Um, as we just dive in and talk a little bit about what it was like and how your experience shifted throughout the last three months. Uh, when we first started working together, what was it that, what was present for you and what, what were you looking to shift in your life? Where were you at? Uh, and what was your intention as we started working together? Before I ever reached out to you, um, my life kind of felt like it was a little bit all over the place. I had gone through a number of transitions as far as moving was concerned. There were a lot of different events that had taken place as far as a new job, new career aspirations that and, and opportunities that had came up. Um, I had began a, a, a new relationship that was growing and becoming a, a bigger and bigger part of my life. And so I think a lot of that, um, while very exciting, um, I was in a place where I, I wasn't really sure how to manage everything. And so in trying to manage everything that I was looking to accomplish, plus a relationship, plus just living a normal life, um, I I kind of got burned out and felt really stagnant. And so um, I had reached a point where I knew what I wanted to do. I knew the things that I needed to do to move me in a certain direction, but I was feeling stuck in a rut and feeling like I didn't have the motivation to to get me out of it. And so we had interacted on obviously a number of occasions through Fit for Service and just as friends. And um, I'd been seeing a lot of the work that you've been doing in the coaching space. And so you were the first person I thought about reaching out to. And once we connected on that first call and you really gave me the floor to really talk through everything that I really was looking for in my life across my health, across my relationship, um, my career. One of the, the, the things that I noticed was apparent that you were, you were pushing me to speak to that I currently wasn't, which was deeper and deeper clarity on those things that I, I wanted. Right. And so I can keep riffing that this is good for you. <laughs> yeah. Go for it, bro. You're good. Cool. 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 So, um, so once we had that first call, it, it was clear to me that your guidance and accountability were going to be incredibly valuable at the time. I don't think I fully understood what that was going to look like but I knew I needed to make a change, right? And so I made uh, the investment in in myself to start working with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then once we actually started the work together, what we had what we had started to hint at and get clarity on in the 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 pre the pre-call, whatever you want to call it, um, on that first call together, the main thing that we really dove into was getting insane clarity on what I wanted across all these different areas. And it, it was, it was the, um, it was the emphasis on those, uh, on that practice on getting that, gaining that clarity that was incredibly helpful. And then on top of that, the tools that you gave to kind of provide some structure to that kind of vision planning process was for me one of the biggest game changers, right? Because um, not only did it help me with actually getting very clear, obviously this is the big thing, not only did it help me get really clear on the things that I really wanted, but also by when I'd be able to achieve those things. So what is what is you know what does life look like a month from now? What does it look like two months from now, three months from now? And I think these are all things that I inherently knew I needed to do, but it was the framework and the challenging to go deeper and deeper on it that I think the real value of it showed up mm. where it wasn't just like a goal that I was, you know, like pulling out of the, you know, my head. I spent a lot of time thinking about it and that's because 
you emphasized it, you added it as homework. When something wasn't at its deepest clarity, you pushed me to go um, further. And I think that practice was incredibly useful. Let's go. I love that. Okay, so <laughs> I do want to tease out some of the, and even just be able to celebrate you in it. You, we don't need to go deep into the context, but at a high level, once, so once we got that initial clarity, and maybe we we do each three of the main buckets you talked about, career relationships, uh, lifestyle, whatever. Um, once you had that clarity, what was your goal? Where were you at at the time? So like comparing the goal to where you started and then where did you finish? And we can go through each bucket. Okay. Or so at, a high level, at a high level, what was the goal? Where I started? What yeah, we did so, and where yeah, we exactly. landed? Yeah. Okay. So when we when we first started out, I really wanted to go heads down on my business and scale it up into something meaningful that could eventually turn into my full time career. Um, and at the time, had made very little progress. I had a couple clients that I was uh, servicing, but there wasn't really like a framework. I didn't really have a website that I was happy with and there wasn't really any clear branding or anything like that that was set up. And in the time where, where we were working together, I was able to get really clear on the roadmap and the priorities for building the foundation to grow my business and acquire new clients that is creating, it has, has built the foundation for future scale and future opportunities to where now I can focus more deeply on customer acquisition. And so I went from a place where, you know, there wasn't really a lot happening to a place where I have a fully built out website. I have my pricing model down. I have my sales strategy down. Um, I've hired multiple contractors that are helping me to service my clients while leveraging me out of the business. Um, and I'm, I've also teed up, um, nearly a dozen new client opportunities and I've also acquired a couple new clients as well. So, um, it's, it's incredibly promising. And, um, I'm, I'm, I'm since we started working together with at least the, the, the clients that I had in place, um, we're looking at a, 3x jump in in revenue at least revenue run rate to date uh that's within the the three months that we've been working together oh i love that super cool so you were you were mentioning we can we can pivot to relationship um you mentioned you were starting a newer relationship around the time we began where were you at in the relationship with your partner, but also just like how you thought about relationships with your own self, where were you at then? And what sort of shift have you seen, if any, since? And where are we at today? Looking at what I wanted out of my relationships, the two main areas that I, I really wanted to improve on was for one with myself. So at the time I, you know, when we first started working together, I was kind of struggling with my confidence a little bit. You know, I'd kind of been in a rut for a minute and wasn't feeling that pull or that drive and therefore wasn't really feeling in control. And that was kind of bleeding into not just my my physical health and not going to the gym, and not focusing on diet and exercise, and also leading into my relationship where, you know, um, uh, my my romantic relationship. So some of that was bleeding into my romantic relationship where, um, you know, I was, I was showing up and, and we had made, we had grown a lot together as a couple, but there were still a lot of things that we were running into. And a lot of it had to do with just being on the same page, being aligned and having a clear path of communication. My relationship with my partner has been stellar since we started dating. Um, but there were always a few times that would come up that we'd run into some challenges. Um, and um, what shifted since we started working together is I really started to treat my relationship with myself 
and my relationship with my partner, uh, like, like a job within itself, right? So having an actual goal, a tangible goal for the, the type of person that I want to be and the type of person that I want to embody and understanding what that looks like. And then also understanding what kind of partner I want to be and how do I want to show up for my partner best? And then what does that actually look like? What actions can I take to actually show up for my partner in a meaningful way? And now we actually have a, it, it's it's that type of approach that's led us to be able to have a much more um, transparent relationship for us to be able to communicate more openly about the things that we're struggling with personally and, and our needs and our observations, which before, you know, there, there was a lot of fear in being able to share in those things out of fear that, you know, it's not going to be received or there's going to be judgment. Um, and, and really going through this practice has demystified a lot of that for, for me, at least at, you know, what it looks like to have a healthy relationship with yourself and in a relationship. Right. I love that a little bit of learning how to prioritize your needs or take a stand for them and communicate them and realizing, and I've done that too in my relationship of like realizing it, through exposure therapy, realizing it really can be safe to express your your needs and desires in a really healthy way. Definitely. Love that. Yeah, that's, it's big. That's really big. And and any other interesting updates since as it relates to your relationship? Oh, yeah. 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 So great news as of about, yeah, a few weeks ago now, um, my partner and I were engaged and we're already starting to you know, plan a wedding and, you know, we're moving in together and just like a lot of, of big leaps that we're both taking in a relationship together. But I know there's zero doubts on, on both of our sides. We are, we are 100% in and it's, it's good because we have both been able to come together and create our shared vision for what life looks like together whoops i'll repeat that because there's a, a ding um, but we've both been able to come together and and create a vision of what our shared life looks like together and it's in having that those practices around actively working on the relationship and both being in line in on actively working on a relationship that is leading us to be able to take this big leap together and feel completely safe doing it. And that's super that. exciting. Love that. Yeah. I won't pretend to, to take any responsibility for that happening, but it's super cool to see it. <laughs> I have seen you grow, like from the very beginning of the container, uh, seeing the hesitation or the, like it, it wasn't overtly obvious, but having felt it myself too, like I could sense the fear of like starting some of those conversations and then just like holding it down and, and, navigating those challenging conversations and coming out the other side more clear together in a partnership that's it's really epic yeah uh, and i'll i'll share because i think it's incredibly important it's really like the mindset around a relationship um it's it's been in prioritizing myself and my needs and prioritizing understanding myself and my partner and our attachment styles and things like that that i've really grown to understand like how do i how do I, how have I been operating historically as a default and under, and, and being able to understand where that's coming from. So understanding that I have a tendency to have a anxious attachment style um, has been really helpful to understand, understanding how I can approach, how can I, how can I approach situations when things aren't aligned or there's a disagreement or she says something that feels somewhat triggering or I say something that feels some, somewhat triggering to her. Yeah. There can be this tendency to want to not deal with those things because it's scary and frustrating and there's fear in all of that. Um, but being able to work through that stuff in a, in a healthy way over and over again is, is what to me has made the biggest difference in our relationship and a piece of advice that you gave me that was pretty much related to business. I think it was more related to business at the time that you gave me the, the advice, but 
um, has applied to every aspect of life has been focus on the inputs and it doesn't leave time for the fear and insecurities to bubble up. And so that, that, and this, that goes for, you know, business ventures and, you know, Hey, maybe you don't feel the most qualified to build the business you're building. Well, that's fine. We'll focus on the inputs of building the business of learning, of gaining the expertise. And eventually you'll, you'll feel that, or you won't have time to be in that mode that because you're so focused on building, you're not worried about the tower falling down. And the same exactly. thing goes for a relationship. Focusing on the inputs looks like focusing on what you can control in that moment, right? Your partner says something that you disagree with, right? Or it could change your plans in some way. Well, you, 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 can't, ch you can't change what's outside of your control, but you can focus on the inputs, which is how you approach the situation, the space and cre container you create within your relationship. Um, and, and I think that just that kind of mindset is, is incredibly helpful. So appreciate that. Of course, bro. It's great to see it be implemented. Okay, cool. So last, last but not least, and you touched on it a bit here, but just to come through the last main pillar you brought up in terms of what you wanted to work on being more or less your lifestyle, the things that fall outside of your career and your relationship. Again, you can keep it as high level as you'd like, but um, I know we we did a lot of work around just like healthy habits, things to keep you grounded and present and things like that. But just where were you at before process? Where, where, are we, uh, where are we at today? For sure. I, I imagine that a lot of people who have prioritized morning routines have maybe run into similar challenges, but um since college i had i had uh developed a um i i since college i've been focusing on ensuring that i have some kind of morning routine um historically meditation and exercise and journaling have been cornerstones to my mental health over time since i i feel like i've worked out a lot of my own insecurities and the things that I've struggled with though. And, and I've been doing those habits for so long that they became more of a, a, a box to check than anything else, rather than something that I felt like was inherently important to my life. And so when I let the, those pieces start to slip away, um, not only did you know, my mind started to get jumbled up because I didn't have that organization anchoring me. My mood started to slip because I wasn't exercising as much. I didn't feel that natural energy that being in motion helps you to, to feel. And so I think a lot of allowing those, those little things to slip away led to some of the bigger dominoes, not falling where I wanted them to. Right. And so um, it, and it really became, came down to, um, just, just what, what did my habits look like in the end and how did I, um, allow them to just kind of dissipate and what, what it really came down to as, as being the game changer to get things back on track was really honoring those commitments and committing to those at, and treating them as commitments, not just as, you know, a thing that was going to, that I, I, I had to do. Right. And so getting into the habit of, of actually detailing down what those commitments were and in my mind, reinforcing why those things were important, what was really helpful for me just to get that momentum back again to where I felt like I was more in control of my day, but also uh, being okay with changing my priorities, right? So not being fixated and say that like, hey, I have to hit these five priorities all the time. There may be weeks or chapters where it's like, hey, I'm intentionally not going to prioritize this thing at this time. 
but I'm going to pick it up at this time when I know it's, it's right for me and just being more intentional about at any given point in time, what are my biggest priorities, large and small, and then making sure that I'm committing to those and, and also like giving myself grace if things come up, you know, which they all always do, you know, you have a, a pipe break and you're up until 2 a.m. or you have a late flight and you're just not on the same, you know, rhythm that you usually are. I think having that grace just allows you to come and go and come back into those habits more easily rather than critically judging him when something goes wrong. And then, and then it just compounds the the disappointment, right? The shame spiral, avoiding the shame spiral. spiral. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Okay, cool. So going from a place, uh, because you, you weren't, it wasn't like you had no routines. It was something you always cared about, but you were able to become more consistent in them and have more grace. Is that fair to say? Yep, for sure. Cool. Okay, sweet. Well, those are the main questions I have for you. Is there anything else, anything else you wanted to share about the experience? Um, yeah, no, I don't think anything pointed, but I think just, you know, speaking for, to you directly, I think something that was also just super helpful was being able to talk to someone on a weekly basis that was also doing the work and also had career priorities and ambitions and relationship goals that you were working on. And so having that as like a reference point, I think was incredibly helpful. It's obviously great to spend a bunch of time and talk about me. Love it. Never going <laughs> to argue with it. But um, I think it it's it's really in the example and the things that you embody that I think are incredibly impactful. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's in the relationship stuff. That's in everything you're doing with your career, um, with the programs you're building out, the classes you're building out how you're automating and building out your your business with VAs, contractors, building processes and things like that, that I I personally think it's awesome. And so to be able to talk to you about that kind of stuff is, is on top of everything else is has been super awesome. So mm. hopefully we can we can continue to do that. Of course. I love it. Mm. Well, I really appreciate that. This whole conversation, it's kind of interesting on a Friday afternoon, you know, you'd assume you'd be like, Okay, I'm ready for my work day to be over, but this conversation, um, I, don't know, I felt very, very present, and I just really appreciate you sharing your perspective and your experience. Um, and my heart and cup feels very full just hearing you reflect back the growth you've experienced. So, yeah, yeah. it's cool. I, I actually, honestly, it's like I just shared all of that, but I don't think I really like fully like grasped everything that's happened but yeah a lot of good stuff has happened man so yeah, man. yeah I mean, i'm from 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 the bottom of my heart i'm I'm super grateful because um yeah i i did i mean as i've shared like i i was in a place where i wasn't happy and i was feeling legitimately stuck but i knew i needed to i knew i needed to do it i was like i have i have the means i have the time like i need to do it so and um yeah it was it was time and investment well spent so i appreciate that mm, of course my man well i'm excited to see where it goes from here we'll uh we'll absolutely stay in touch